Wednesday's day was high on emotions, from Sabali Khan fielding trolls to Salman Sunakshi falling prey to yet another fake picture, and Fardeen Khan narrating his heart-wrenching journey as a parent. There was a lot buzzing in B-Town this midweek, and we've got you covered with the biggest stories of the day. spilled over to Wednesday and we saw some savage responses from Sabah Ali Khan. Her Women's Day post was dedicated to Sharmila Tagore, Sara Ali Khan, Karina Kapoor and Soha Ali Khan. Net meddlers were quick to question why says former wife Amita Singh was missing from the post. Not one to shy away, Sabah patiently and personally replied to each query with utmost grace. Netizens are hell-bent on getting Salman Khan and Sunakshi Sinha married and social media is flooded with morphed pictures of the couple which are making us cringe. This time, a netizen photoshopped Salman and Sunakshi's face over Varun Dhawan and Natasha Dalal's wedding picture. Even after calling out the fake pictures, idle internet users are busy experimenting their photoshop skills. If you are a true Pai fan, then you would know who Salman Khan is not in love with currently. Fans of Tanu Weds Manu take note, a third part is in the offing and Abhis have overheard some interesting murmur about the storyline. If Buzz is to be believed, then the next instalment will weave a dreamy story around Kangna and Mohammad Zishan Ayub's character of Advocate Arun, aka Chintu Kumar Singh. While this one sounds interesting, Kangna's tuning with Jimmy Shergill and R. Madhavan had our hearts hooked. Speaking about love, Fardeen Khan's recent revelation made us emotional. The actor explained his absence from the spotlight and shared details of his personal turmoil. After Feroz Khan's death, Fardeen said he had a health scare, post which his wife went through a testing time while trying to have a baby through IVF. After a nasty experience in Mumbai, Fardeen and Natasha moved to London and lost twins in the first six months of pregnancy. Cut to 2013, the couple welcomed a baby girl and completed their family with the birth of their baby boy in 2017. Here's to good times.